Alki, the squad have returned now for pre-season. How was the break for you and, and did you have time to reflect on last season? Yeah, we've, we've utilised our time well. Um, the vast majority of our time has been in, in recruitment, spending um, a, lot of, a lot of hours looking at the squad and, and adding to it. Um, but yeah, we've reflected well on the season. I think it was a, a really pleasing season, obviously becoming champions um, and going undefeated the full season has been a, been a feat that I'm really proud of. Yeah, and just looking back on that achievement, you touch on it obviously being undefeated. Just how, how big of a challenge was that for the squad to overcome? Well, I think I think the, the, the positive come out is the, the positivity and the, the belief that the, the, the girls will take hopefully into next season. That will be a major factor in, in what they've achieved. Proven that they were worthy champions, you know, being undefeated the full season. So again, that, that confidence all just should build and um, they, should, they should give them a real belief into next season. And how important do you feel that the fitness levels were to that consistency as well, that the squad were obviously really fit last season? Yeah, I think the whole the whole methodology there about the way we trained and, and how we planned and prepared the full season um, had an effect on, on the girls and that, that in all the games that they played, the, we always felt that we had an extra gear in us, we had an extra level of enthusiasm in us and there was a drive and a determination in it. Um, and that came through in training. And is that the challenge now over this pre-season to, to get the players back to that level again? We need to we need to maintain standards, but not just in terms of what we're about. You know, this season there'll be an addition of players coming in. Um, some players have, have, have moved on. So again, the, the, the core group of players have got that belief in them um, and, and they should carry that into this season coming. And you touched on it a bit there, there obviously have been some changes over the break as well. Where are you at in terms of your squad and, and the personnel at the moment? Well, we're still, we're still working on, on various other players coming in just now. Um, I think it's an ongoing process at any football club, whatever, whatever season it is, whether it's this season, next season, there'll always be a coming and going of players. Um, so as, as it stands right now, we're, we're really happy with the, the players that have re-signed and staying here as part of the core group. But we will, add, we will look to add to that that squad to give us the depth and the strength that we'll need to to maintain the standards from last season. And how important will that that core group of players be that, that have extended and, and are staying on for next season? The importance is that they have now they have now the, the, the belief in themselves and they've, they've proven champions, proven winners. But that comes that comes with an added responsibility that, that again, as any professional athlete in football you've got to do, you must be able to to do that year in, year out. And we haven't spoken to you since the Champions League draw was made. What was your uh, initial reaction to that draw? I think, you know, it, it wouldn't have mattered who came out of the hat, to be honest with you. It was the, the fact that we're in the Champions League and we're now going to have that challenge ahead of ourselves. And, and I think the group's been real, really kind, you know, in, in terms of who we could have got. Um, we've got the Hungarian champions, Finnish Varis. So, yeah, we're, look, we're looking forward to it. It'll be, a tough, it'll be a tough, tough game. We know that most of their team um, are, are, are the Hungarian national team, so it'll be a tough, tough, a tough game for us. A different environment, playing in the heat out in Greece, um, but one that will again we'll do our due diligence and watching them. We'll take the environment into, into the, the context it's at, and we'll put a plan together, and we'll go out and hopefully have a good account of ourselves and Rangers Football Club. And it obviously, is the, the first week of pre-season this week. What will the, the rest of this week look like for the players? This week's about testing and getting results, you know, getting getting where the, the players are in terms of their, their, their core strength, in terms of their mobility, in terms of their speed. So the sports science department um, are working heavily in that. Um, our, our job just now as coaches is, is being about them and making sure the mood of the group's good and making sure that they are in between doing the testing. We're getting more lives when we're sick of a return to football for us this week.